Hello and welcome to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to add Bates numbering to a PDF using the PDF Element software. Bates numbering is very useful for organizing documents that require proper identification. The commercial, medical and legal industries usually use this to process a large number of documents. Otherwise, if there's no batch number, these documents could be misplaced. There are a lot of use cases that can be associated with Bates numbering since it features a very professional touch to indexing and finding documents, such as architectural engineers with a large number of design drawings. Project managers deal with hundreds of pages of contracts. Lawyers search for past evidence information and nurses assist doctors in the medical industry to search for patient information, which allows these tasks to be completed quickly and efficiently. Part one, how does Bates numbering work? If you still don't understand how to use this function through the appeal scene, let's first understand how does Bates numbering work. It is a way of indexing legal, business, or medical documents, and it is usually applied to PDF files. The original Bates numbers machine was invented in the late 1900s by Edwin G. Bates to make it easier to identify and retrieve information. Bates numbering provides a unique identification number to each page. It is usually found in the header or in the footer of each document. It allows us to add any combination of letters and numbers to the document. Helpfully, these numbers are also self-incrementing which means each consecutive page automatically levels up to the next larger number. Although base numbering can also develop arbitrary numbers. The basic ideology of the technique gathers up combination from elements such as ID numbers, dates, companies, clients, case numbers, and other records. In this video, I will tell you how to add base numbering to PDF documents using Wondershare PDF elements. Base numbering with PDF elements is very simple and straightforward. So by following these steps, you'll be able to add your own base numbering system to your PDF document. Let's get on with the first solution. Our first solution is going to be the Windows method, how to add Bates numbering using PDF element for Windows. First, make sure you've launched the app. If you didn't have this app, please find the download link in the description of the video below and use it. The home window will prompt you to upload a PDF document onto the program. Click the open files button and select the PDF document you want to insert the Bates numbers. Once the document is loaded up, navigate to the edit tab on the menu bar. Click the Bates numbers option on the resulting sub menu bar to reveal two other options, add Bates numbering and and edit Bates number. Now let's customize the Bates number with one case. Let's say that you have 50 PDFs and you need to sequentially number them. So it makes it really easy. First click add Bates numbering. Click the plus symbol. Then you will see the resulting property box allows you to customize different aspects of Bates numbering. It allows you to add suffixes and prefixes to the Bates number and to select the first number in the Bates series. It will start as if there are six digits, 000001. If you have a really long file, you can add more, but for the most part, four is going to be plenty. Usually the person producing it adds their own prefix. I'll just add WS so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. The font section does what a font section usually does and allows you to change the style, size, and color of the numbers. So I could pick the font, I could pick the size, and I'm usually going to go with 10 to 12. Some people like to make their bait numbering really big, usually to help people who can't see very well. However, I suggest making them small to 10 so it's not too distracting, but always take into consideration who is going to be looking at your base numbering. There are usually nine boxes. Then select the position which you want to put the base numbering. I usually like the lower right hand side. Most people pick the lower right hand side. So I'm going to click this right footer text and then click on insert base numbering. If your file has large margins, that will exceed the box and lead to add bait numbering you should have a small adjustment via here. It also allows you to change the orientation and opacity of the base numbers using the rotation and opacity options respectively. The page range allows you to select a range of pages or choose to have even, odd, or a combination of even and odd pages with base numbers. The position section allows you to select the position on the page you want the numbers to appear. Once you are satisfied with the settings on this window, click save and insert the numbers. Save the edited document and don't forget to change the file name when you save the document from distinguishing it from older documents. Next time, you can click the Add Bates Numbering button to choose the one you want to apply directly without setting again. However, you can also use the Edit Bates Number option to edit and remove Bates Numbers and start again. Here's a pro tip for improving your efficiency. If you have a mass of files which need to add bait numbering in a second, then come back to the homepage of this app and click Batch PDF on the home window. Navigate to Bates Numbers in the left-hand option and upload the documents that are going to be processed. On uploading the documents, tap on the plus symbol to open the settings for the execution of this process. A new screen opens up which provides settings for the Bates numbering across each document. The user can then set up the desired combination prefixes and suffixes, finalize the font, position, and other appearance settings. Once done, tap saved, followed by apply on the next screen to conclude. It's then the same step to add bait numbering. 
Also, you can select a template you previously set. That's it for the Windows process. Let's move on to the Mac method. Method two is the Mac method using PDF element for Mac. In this solution, we want to introduce the bait numbering in batch with PDF element for Mac. This allows us to add bait numbers quickly and easily. First, launch your app. Please go to the tool, then batch process and baits numbering. Click the plus add button to add the file that you need baits numbering and click the plus button at the top right. In the pop-up windows, please choose the insert baits number button, then click save after editing. Now, how do we remove baits numbering? In PDF element for Mac, there is a remove bait numbering in batch. There is a difference between the windows version. After opening a PDF file with baits numbering in the program, please click the tool, batch process, batch remove button. Then again, click the add plus and select baits numbering in the right hand side. Then click apply and choose the output folder. After removing the baits numbering, it will create new files for you. Much easier, right? Now on to part three, you ask, we answer. Today's question is, how do I start my bait numbering page on page two if I don't want to cover all the pages which have the number? Sure, you can do it. Jump right into the page range section. Edit the 2-10 into the box. You will then find the bait numbering applied to this range of pages, except the first page which you did not want to add. Super simple as always, in Wondershare PDF Element, all these methods are super easy to do. That is all the information you're going to need to be able to use bait numbering in your PDF documents. We hope you've enjoyed this helpful step-by-step -step guide. This PDF Element YouTube channel provides you with all the PDF tutorials you need to boost your productivity. If you're trying to figure out how to add stamps to your PDFs, you can search the keyword stamps on our channel. Don't hesitate to leave a comment down below this video if there are any issues you're facing when it comes to editing your PDFs, and we'll answer your question in an upcoming video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any updates. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.